I'm speaking to you now from the firearms section of the crime lab of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. And we're going to talk with William Valenta, who is the firearms examiner. And uh, you have a weapon in your hand here, Bill. What are you going to do? Well, all revolvers and pistols that are brought into the laboratory are fired into this bullet collection box. Uh, in this particular case, we have a bullet that was sent in from the coroner's office in a homicide. And the weapon was submitted by the police. I'm going to fire it and retrieve the bullet and compare it with the bullet we have from the coroner's office. You have this protected box here for doing that, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. well, you may fire when ready. All right. I expected something louder than that. This oh, no, this is muffled, and uh, we don't get too big of a sign. Uh, we have our rolls of cotton inside. It catches our bullets. And here we have the bullet. Now, we'll place it on the scope. Now, you have already placed... Uh, the bullet from the coroner's office on That's one right. side. This is a double microscope, isn't it? That, that is right. It's two microscopes with a comparison bridge. Uh -huh. so what we do, we place the bullets side by side. Then I check to see whether the class is the same. After we check class, we check to see whether the striations and the lands and grooves are the same. Now, if this is the gun, why well, we'll have a match. I can say positively that this is a gun that fired. You can say positively part. because no two guns make the same mark. That, that is correct. Well, now, we have uh, this picture, I guess, that'll show what you're talking about. Yes, sir. Uh, here we have two grooves, two bullets. These are what you see under the microscope. Now, the lines match. Oh, the split through the middle is uh, the that, two bullets matching, isn't that, it? That is correct. These are the striations. When we get a perfect match like that, we can say that we have the gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this a simple matching job, or do you have to is it get pretty complicated? Uh, once in a while, we have uh, bullets that come in that are fairly difficult to match up. Uh, they hit bone or... Mm -hmm. They've been uh, damaged. That's right, they're torn up. Uh, otherwise, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, it, do you do a great deal of this in this laboratory? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, we average about 200 guns a year. Uh, speaking of guns, you have a case behind you here. Do you keep all of the guns that are involved in this type of uh, criminal case? Well, all guns that are confiscated by the court are left here in the laboratory. These are our best weapons classic weapons that we have. Uh, this one was in an armed robbery and the uh, fellow was convicted, the gun confiscated by the court and we keep them. Mm -hmm. uh, we use all the various parts of different guns when we get one in that's inoperable and we need to uh, fire it to get our test markings. Mm -hmm. I was just saw those markings on there that has nothing to do with uh, the weapon. I mean, in the case, does it? No, sir. Well, now, uh, I notice you have different sizes and shapes. Uh, are these this necessarily old cases or just old guns? Uh, we have every make and model, practically, that's ever been put out. On this side, we have all our Smith & Wessons. On that side, we have all our Colts. Well, thank you very much, Bill. That is our time from here.